Thank you so much, Philip, and uh, thank you to all of you for that lovely uh, welcome. We always feel so welcome coming to Dundee. Uh, just for me today, coming on the train from Glasgow, it was just the weather was doing its best thing, and the, the sun twinkling on the, on the Tay. Just the most dramatic journey, actually, from Glasgow. It doesn't take long, but it's just stunning. And it makes you feel so proud to be Scottish. And then you pass the Val McDermott stand as well. And you've got all, all of that going on. Writers, popular culture, sport, everything coming together. Um, and great to see such a wonderful mix of people here today. Thank you so much for coming along. We're honoured to, to have Kengo Kuma with us here today. And I think this is such an interesting opportunity to be able to have an insight into what Kengo does, to what architects do, a little bit about the process. Because I know that many of you here today, there might be a few architecture students, indeed people in, in the industry, architects, but there'll be a heck of a lot of other people like me who are just interested um, and don't know too much about the process. In fact, I was thinking, it's a shame we lose that childlike sort of curiosity from, from early days when we're, we're all with Lego bricks, um, creating our own miniature buildings. And then I discover that Kengo Kuma, you have actually designed Japanese Lego. Beautiful, <laughs> beautiful versions of Lego, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the short answer. Go online and see it. <laughs> Very exquisite, geometrically crafted things, things of beauty. Um, so let's begin by just finding out a little bit about your early days uh, and growing up in, in Japan. Um, was, there, was there a particular moment for you when the world of architecture opened up to you? Uh, yes, yeah, so, um, one of the first in, important encounters was, uh, was, a meet, was a meeting with one product. So, yeah, so my father bought that product in Ginza, as a, as a designed by the European architects, as a Bruno Taut, as a design that one. As a, as a uh, probably as a, as a, he, my father bought this as a product, 1936 or 1937, on that, and uh, so he was very proud of owning that product. And so, and so whenever he was happy, he showed me this product. Yeah. Please look at this beautiful product. It's a design by very famous architect. And his name is Bruno Taut. And so he came to Japan in 1933. And he was German. Uh, yeah. yeah. And so he, stay, he, he, he just as a stayed three years. But he, he designed the, those small products, the more than 100, uh, j just in three years, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a more than 100 as a products. And also he designed the, the two houses in Japan, only two houses. And uh, this is one of the houses he designed. And uh, it uh, looks like j the mixture of Japan yeah. and Europe. But there are many new ideas the, and uh, many new details. The, and uh, as a, as a, after the first encounter with his products, the 90, the 93, as, a, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a, I had a chance to get in that building because the, I, I designed the, the, the house next to this, his house. Uh -huh. And uh, I was so surprised because I know that house is a, is a, because I didn't know the location of that house. But when I designed the house in Atami, it's called Water Glass Villa. It's a, it's just a, it's a, it's a glass box with the water reflective on the front. Mm -hmm. as, a, as, a, as a woman from the, the next house, as a, as a, she invited me to see her house. From uh, from exterior, is uh, I couldn't f is, uh, f see what is this house yeah. because the blue tout designed only the interior. Uh -huh. But as a as a but I get in the building. Wow, your house is blue tout house. <laughs> I was so surprised that uh, I was surprised. That I was as a very as a, as impressed by the uh, such as a coincidence. Yes. Instance. Yeah, and uh, the the is a second encounter was blown out is this house. Yes, and as uh, he is, he used he used the Japanese material. Mm. So for example, the bamboo, 
the beard beautifully. As a, as a, and uh, he combined the Japanese as a aesthetics, as a Japanese material with a, some as a contemporary idea. Yeah. This is a, this is a, is, is a, I get a many hint from this, uh, this house. Yes. And even that first picture we saw, that first object that you're talking about, um, it, we'll come on to talk obviously in more detail about your work, but the idea of natural materials yes. and something that's very simple actually. Yes. Is key to your work. Yes, it's a, the mat material wise, it is a, a Japanese material, the, but the detail, the very minimal and the yeah. simple, I, I, I'd never seen that kind of the detail. The, I have never seen that kind of combination of natural material with the, as a minimal detail. Yes, mm. and also um, later on we'll talk in more detail about this fabulous new uh, building that's being created right right here and we will see with your work this whole awareness of the environment the surroundings uh, that a building is is in and also um light and i did read that another big moment for you kengo kuma when you were uh, young was you know growing up in the sort of post-war building boom when there were buildings going up uh, in tokyo and the new buildings for the first Tokyo Olympics in 1964, and that you, you used to go and swim, is that right, in one of the gymnasium buildings? Yes, yes. And that that was an important building for you too, just in terms of seeing the light coming in when you were yes, quite yes, young? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, the, the first Tokyo Olympic happened in 1964. Yeah. I was at the age of 10. And there's a game, my, my father, my father loved design, is a very new design very much. The, he brought me to the, the Olympic the gymnasium yeah. as a swimming pool designed by Kenzo Tange. It's, it's a beautiful masterpiece. As a, as a, and as a, as a, probably as you know the, the building. It is a, structurally, it is very challenging. Yeah. As a two concrete columns, as a, as the roof is, as was suspended by those concrete columns. The, the white is a big the cable the, mm. uh, as a, as a, is beautifully carved like that. Yes. It is a very as a, as a functional as a, and the solution. But at the same time, it is a, it's a beautiful shape. Mm. And uh, I was surprised to see the shape and the, the more the, uh, the, uh, the, the shocking for me is the interior. The interior is a, is a high ceiling, mm -hmm. and the, the natural light is a, was coming from heaven. <laughs> it's like the heaven, and uh, the, and actually, as a as a one American as a swimmer, as a swimmer, the diver, yeah. as a, he commented on that building. I felt like in the paradise. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is, this is, the space is, is really astonishing. Yes. And, uh, and on that day, the, I decided to become architect. <laughs> as because as, uh, before, as, before that the encounters, uh, as I didn't know the, the profession called mm -hmm. architect. Yeah. And, uh, and on that day, the, the, my father explained the building. This was designed by Kenzo Tange, the leading architects, and ah, such profession exists. Yes. What so interesting professions. So the before the, the encounters, I, I wanted to become uh, uh, veteran, veterinarian. Veteran, Mechanic? Uh, no, 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 as a, as a doctor, the, a doctor of as a animals. As uh, a vet, a vet. Vet, vet, vet veterinarian. Veterinarian, yeah, so, yeah. so, because uh, I, I love the cats very much. <laughs> <laughs> well, animals loss, architecture's game. But I, I love the idea of that you as a small, as a boy, mm -hmm. just being overwhelmed by the building and the light mm -hmm. and that being a, a major moment for you because yeah. I liked, you know, who knows what might happen in this v &A building in Dundee. Mm -hmm. You know, there might be a, a 10 year old boy from Dundee walks mm -hmm. in and goes, ah, I could do this. Good luck with that, Sonny. <laughs> um, so, uh, Bruno Taut, clearly your father very influential early on yeah. in terms of just an appreciation of, of design and also that, that wonderful building in Tokyo. Um, 
In terms of just design and thinking specifically about de design philosophy, it's a, it's a great big question, but what do you think the role of design is today? Uh, the design today is the, it should be as a, mm, as a, as a, it should have the, the, the strong as a connection with the society, I think. As a social responsibility is, is a big part of the design. Yeah. As a, as a, in 20th century, the, uh, as a, uh, the architects, the, as, as, uh, as a, the role of architects is to design the beautiful object. If as a, he designs a beautiful object, people, as a beautiful object can attract people to the, to the building. As a, it's a success of the building. But now, the, as a, we are living in the very com complicated societies, uh, and uh, the economically, it's, it's not not easy period. Yeah. And, uh, and as a, uh, the, the people the, uh, uh, watching as, uh, architectures mm -hmm. and uh, it is really useful for the, the community, as, uh, it is necessary for the community, that kind of things. As, yes. uh, and then the architect should be responsible for that kind of issue. And, uh, and then the role of the arch architects as, uh, has changed a lot from 20th century. And I think you, you, you relish that, you enjoy that aspect of the job, don't you? You like yes. that holistic approach. Yeah, yeah. yeah the, uh, it's, it's not easy no. <laughs> to face with that as a situation, but as I really enjoy the, that situation. Yeah. As a, I also think it's interesting that you were talking about um, before an idea of buildings, you know, architecture creating things of beauty, because mm. of course, certainly here in this country, I'm sure it's the same across the world, Everyone has an opinion about big buildings, and quite often it's thinking that they're not beautiful enough. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's all of that. That, that debate uh, has gone on too. Um, let's look at some further uh, pictures here. So this is the. This was completed in 2000. Is this the uh, Nakagawa Machi Bato Hiroshige <laughs> Museum of Art? Yeah, Hir Hiroshige. <laughs> no, don't. <laughs> Don't, I'm sure it was appalling. <laughs> so this is the Museum of Art. Yes, it's a museum for Hiroshige. And the Hiroshige is as a, as a one of the uh, most as a important ukiyo-e artists. Yeah. It's the 19th century. And the, as a, he is a, as a Hiroshige gave the, the big influence as on as a art in Europe. In the Impressionism, it was very much influenced by him. Yeah. As a, one example is as a Bruno, uh, as a Vincent Van Gogh, as a, as a he as a, as a, was very much influenced by Hiroshige. Yeah. And if you go to Gogh, Gogh Museum in Amsterdam, as a, on the very important wall, you can find the, the copy of Vincent Van Gogh of Hiroshige. Uh -huh. It is yeah. very interesting. As a Hiroshige is a wood block, wood print, as a, but as a yeah. Gog as a, did use oil paint, but it precisely copies the, the Hiroshige. It's just amazing work. Yes. And as a, also Gog as a as a as a wrote about Hiroshige, so he he respected three as a, uh, artists: Rembrandt, Cezanne, and Hiroshige. It's a very interesting combination. Yeah. Why is Rembrandt his own country? It was the Cezanne as a, as the same generation, and Hiroshige. Why Hiroshige? Is this? Yeah. But there's a, such big influence, and, uh, and actually the method, the technique of Hiroshige is, is a, it was give influence, is yeah. giving influence on him. Yeah. And also the and another story is about the architecture is the Frank Lloyd Wright is a. As a, as a great master, as a, he also is influenced by Hiroshige very much. Yes. As a, he came to Japan often as because he was collecting the, the ukiyo-e art of Hiroshige. As a, and then he designed Imperial Hotel in Tokyo. Probably you know that, that building, beautiful Imperial Hotel designed by Frank Lloyd Wright. The, the completed in 1923, just before big earthquake. 
Oh. And, and so it's a beautiful building. So still, the main lobby was kept as a, in the, the some uh, architecture museum. And uh, and he, the reason the everything happened as a as a as a, because of Hiroshige. Yes. And uh, Franco Light wrote as a, uh, also he wrote as a without choose to Japanese as a, I couldn't as a, establish my style. And the two Japanese is one is Tenshin Okakura. The Tenshin Okakura was the, was the author of Book of Tea. Mm -hmm as uh, published in 1906 in state. So wrote in English. And the second one is, of course, Hiroshige. Yes. And without two Japanese, so I couldn't do anything. So in his autograph, so you can find that, that sentence. Yes. So this, this building, uh, this is the, his Museum of Arts, and this is your design? Yes, so I designed, and it's a kind of homage to Hiroshige, yeah. Hiroshige's method. And there is a Hiroshige, is a, the Gok has a, made the copy of this, this one. As a, in Amsterdam, you can find this, the copy of this one. And the, the Hiroshige method is basically as a juxtaposition of, of nature yeah. and artifact. As a, as what an amazing picture that is. Yeah, it's a lens. He, uh, this lens is very straight, geometrical. Yeah. And uh, in Western painting, so before 20th century, the rain was not uh, drawn like that. Yeah. The rain and the fog are ambiguous. The building, straight, geometrical, but the, the nature it was just a backdrop of the, the geometry. Yes. It is a Western method. But the Hiroshige is uh, a natural phenomena and uh, and as an artifact, is be was belonging on the, the same world, yeah. and the, the no separation, the, the juxtaposition of the, those things. And that is very appealing to Scottish a Scottish audience, <laughs> where the rain is very much in the foreground <laughs> of our lives. Yeah. Yeah. So this this painting also has, has been an inspiration to you too. You yes, like this painting, yes. yeah. Yes. Yeah, the, uh, the nature and the. As a architecture, architecture should be the part of nature. Uh, this is my thought, and it is inspired by the Hiroshige's method. Yeah. <laughs> so this is still the, the museum here. It's a Hiroshige museum. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So as we can see, lots of light and the materials. Which material? All as kinds a, of wood. Yeah. And so material-wise, it's uh, as a coming from the mountain behind. As, as a to as a for that building, so I did a research about the material. What material is good for the contemporary museum? The, the, my solution is to use local material yeah. as possible. Yeah. And um, the, the, that cedar, we use cedar for the building. And the cedar came from the mountain behind. And the, the Japanese carpenters all, all, always says, the best material is uh, material from back mountain. As a, because climate is same, the yes. humidity te is the te same, temperature is same, and then as a, the, as a, that material is a, as a, as a keep building long. Mm -hmm. as a, this, this is a lesson from the this carpenters. Is, it's logical, it's what we would now call eco-friendly, but it's absolutely logical, isn't it? And so this is still the same museum? Yes, as a, as a paper, as a, and, and stone, local stone, and the, most of the materials as it came from the, 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 yeah. the, the area. The local area. And, and it is also uh, related with the, the new type of new economy, I, I think. The new economy is, uh, is uh, to make the building as a, as a should activate the local economy. Yes. And, uh, and, uh, and that, that um, can, the, can create the new network, as a, and the architecture is a, uh, the, can be the, the hub of the yes. kind of network. Yes. And the local, local artisan, the local the company can participate in the project. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
which is the I, absolutely the ideal situation and it's something we're going to hear as we keep talking mm -hmm. about your approach to, to work. And we're moving on to this, which is absolutely fascinating. Mm -hmm. um, this is the Great Bamboo Wall, yeah. Beijing. Uh, so this is completed uh, in 2003, so three years after the, the, uh, the museum we just saw. Uh, and this is next to the Great Wall of China. Yes, the mountains you <laughs> see is be, That's is it. behind is a, is a Great Wall. And it's very close, just 300 meters from Great Wall. Yeah. As a material wise, is a, so I use a local bamboo. Yeah. As a, as a, in China, bamboo is a very normal material. As a, but the people as a, did, do use bamboo for uh, scaffolding. Yeah. Not for architecture. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, and, but as a, I as a, uh, proposed to use bamboo for the permanent building. That, uh, and uh, so we, and I, I got, a, I learned a no, some know how to, the, the, for the maintenance of bamboo from the Japanese carpenters. And uh, I taught the, the, the Chinese craftsmen so how to treat bamboo. So, and, uh, so d did you enjoy that process then? The fact that this Chinese bamboo has been brought to Japan and then yeah. you can bring back knowledge to China. Yes. It's sort of China and Japan yes, it's, juxtaposition. It's, yeah, very interesting relation. And uh, at the beginning, the, the we couldn't find the contractors who do that project. There is a, every con construction company, so we, uh, we asked, them, ah, we couldn't use bamboo like that. Yeah. <laughs> but as a, I, as a, I had a discussion with them as a, how to treat bamboo, so how to cut, cut bamboo in appropriate as a, as a season is important. Uh -huh. The September, August is the best period to cut the bamboo. Wow. Because uh, in, in that as a time of the year, as a, as a Bamboo has, a, has a, a, a less as a, as a sugar. Ah. Uh, yeah. yeah. uh, uh, if we cut before, if mm -hmm. we cut after, the bamboo will deteriorate, deteriorate soon. Wow. Mm -hmm. I, lo I love the fact people are making notes for when they're going to be cutting <laughs> the bamboo. They know when to do it in September. But the abs we, it, it, we don't have to say it. I mean, the, the image speaks for itself. The light, the play in the light and the geometrics is just stunning, isn't it? Yeah, as a, as a how to as a filter of light is always is a very important. The, the natural light, as a, as a, as a natural light is, I think, most as an important material for architectural design. Yes, indeed. Uh, I'm just. It's. I, I wonder how how long something like that would last. What kind of longevity does the bamboo have? You know, it looks so natural and so fairly uh, light. The, yeah, the, the bamboo is actually we the, had have eaves. The, to protect the bamboo from rain, uh -huh. and, uh, and uh, mm, so with that kind of did as a section of the building, as a, uh, I, as I hope as a twenty years. As a, mm -hmm. Now um, uh, you refer to the one earthquake in twenty eleven. Of course, there was the Great East Japan earthquake and tsunami. I mean, huge catastrophe, extraordinary, awful uh, loss of life, and that had an impact on many, many people, and it certainly had an impact on you, didn't it, as an architect, mm -hmm. in terms of making you perhaps rethink mm -hmm. your approach to, to how you build and the materials yeah, you yeah. use? Yeah, so, and the tsunami is, a, um, is a, actually, I, I, des I designed few, uh, a, a few buildings in the, the, that up those area. Yes. A, and luckily, as a, as a, as a, as a, our building were, were not as a, a destructed. As a, but as I so went, uh, these pictures, I took this picture by myself. You took this picture? Yeah. Oh. And uh, just two weeks after the tsunami, the, still the, the, lo uh, the load was not, not really, as a, reconstructed. As a, as a, I was, was very shocked to see the. And uh, the lesson, as a, I got the, the lesson, the, as a people, the, 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 the up north area, every yes. six years they had the tsunami. And then, the, and then they respected the, 
uh, uh, they are afraid of tsunami. Yes. And the generation to generation, the and uh, and grandmothers as a as a spoke about the story about tsunami to grandson. Mm -hmm. uh, that kind of the story. But in 20th century, that 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 they forgotten the yeah. lesson of tsunami. Yeah. And uh, then the and uh, the the building the the that they they built in 20th century uh, were very much damaged. Yeah. Um, so the, the 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 construction not taking into account the possibility of, of mm. this. Yeah, yeah. Um, and and for you, um, how 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 did you go about sort of rethinking your approach to architecture after this? Yeah, as a, as a, I I. As a, as a before tsunami, as a, I as began to think the as a the relationship with nature, yeah. attitude to nature is most important. The and the architecture is not independent; should not be the independent object. So always we should design the relationship. Yes. And the tsunami is as a as a strongly as a. As a, as a pick up this as a issue as a, to to me as yes. a, and there's a this is a big moment for me yes mm -hmm. and as you say you had already been th very much part of your whole mode of working is thinking about the environment and these next uh, images I just love this and I want to go and visit it um, this is the uh, Kitakami Canal Museum uh, this is from 1999 yes Gosh. A completed is a and the, 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 this, the location of this the building was, was in Ishinomaki City. Yeah. And the Ishinomaki City is, uh, was damaged by tsunami very much. One of the most the destructed city in that area. The 60% of the, of the town was destroyed. 60%. And actually, the, 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 my building is here. And you you see the houses there. Yeah. That those houses were this were destroyed by tsunami. Right. And tsunami is a, is a came from the right side, and then stopped at my building. Ah. <laughs> and the, my building, luckily, the, my building has this is a shape. Is is a kind of underground building, and then the tsunami stopped at my building. But as a, on on that. That day, the uh, March 11, is the, is the day of tsunami. So, I I, I saw the, uh, the the news, yes. And, uh, and they they said Ishinomaki city was totally destroyed by tsunami. <gasps> <sighs> and uh, I, I I tried to as a, call them, as a, but as a, on that day, as a telephone as a connection was totally yes. as a, gone. out as a, and gone. As a, <laughs> And uh, the next day, I tried to call, but there's uh, no answer, no answer. And uh, I so almost gave up. But, uh, and, uh, but two weeks after, the, the, suddenly, the, the connection, I could the, get the answer from them. Ah, come on, so we are very lucky. Don't worry. Wow. <laughs> and then the, I, 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 as I immediately go there to yes. check the building, and, uh, and the neighbors, uh, as a disaster. And, um, because this is, a, so this is a small gallery and recreation area, and it's at um, an intersection, isn't it? One of the oldest canals in Japan uh, and uh, the Kitakami River. And the, the exterior almost completely hidden. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so the, but this, this view from here is beautiful. Mm. Absolutely amazing. Uh, and these, uh, we'll come on to that in a minute, but just thinking about um, coming back to, to Dundee and the whole idea of the importance of, of nature. Um, remind us about the specifics here. You've talked about the Scottish cliffs. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Something that you have, have had in mind when you were yes. coming up with this extraordinary yeah. radical design for the VA yeah. Dundee. Yes, as, a, as when I saw the, as a belief of competitions, as a, as a site, the location was, was was very very interesting. So it's between as the land as a, and the water. It is really in between two two as a different as a, as a, as a place. So, 
I, so, and so we started as a, as a thinking, and the, so, so, so one, my colleague, so showed me one picture so of the cliff in the Scotland. And this is very beautiful. It is as a, the earth and waters as a, a, as a, as a, did a long, long as a, as a conversation, yeah. and finally created this beautiful shape. As a, ah, this can be the solution. As a, and a, and as a, ah, as a, <laughs> as a, we need this kind of this kind of architecture. As a, in twentieth century, the architecture is box. As a, as a straight wall, as a, and a, as a very functional box, concrete box. Yes. But if for that kind of location, as a, we need this kind of softness, this kind of the, as a deepness, uh, and uh, the, uh, the sh lines of shadows is, uh, is beautiful. Mm. And then the, and we, uh, we started the, 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 the sketch. And then finally, we could find the That's solution. what I was going to ask you because you know, the world is so digital now. We know architecture you're on your screens and it's all very digital. And I wondered, given that you are so embracing of the natural world, whether for you the first moment is, is it literally, is it a pencil or something like that? Please say yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as a, no. as a, as a, as a sometimes. Yeah. Not every, not every time, but there's a, Pencil, the, the, the line of the, the, actually the carbons, the line of the carbons is a, can give the many hint. The lines of the, 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 the computers is, is too straight, yeah. and no shadows, and no the, the blurring, but the carbons can, the, the line of the carbons the, can stimulate my brain to go to the next step. Hooray! I'm really glad you said that, because I had been wondering about all of that. Right, you have to excuse me, we're, I'm, I'm flicking around here, but you'll know these images inside out once I get back, um, because I'm going to take you to um, the... This is Besançon. Right, Besançon City of Arts and Culture. Uh, and I think this is a really interesting one, isn't it? Because there are all sorts of elements coming in here to do it again, as we've discussed, uh, with light and the natural surroundings, uh, and water, again, given the big building that is, is happening here, and also history and architecture, it's all coming together here. Can you tell us a little bit about, about this? Yes, as a, as a, as a we, as actually we designed many buildings facing water. Yes. As a canal museum, is, and also as a, this is facing a river, and uh, there's many, many examples. I don't know why, but yeah. <laughs> but, uh, mm, but probably the people the thought is our building is with much water, so that the answer we, we are getting such the commission like that. Yes. <clears throat> and in that building, as again, as we cut the building, as a, and we try to create the hole which connect the building, uh, which connect nature. And the city. Yes. And uh, you know that Tori Gate, Tori Gate in the Japanese shrine. Mm -hmm. In front of Japanese shrines, so we always have the Tori Gate. And the Tori Gate is a hole which connects nature and the town, and the nature and human. And uh, as a uh, as a Tori Gate, the origin of Tori Gate is. Just the gate, mm -hmm. no shrine building. Mm -hmm. the, the sacred mountain, and in front of the sacred mountain, they, they, we built the tree gate. And the, that the tree gate the, the shows the importance of the mountain. And the, that, is a, uh -huh. that is a big lesson. Trees respect mountain. Yes. And the building is not necessary. <laughs> this is a message of the Tuli Gate. Yes. But after the people the started to build shrine, the, but, the, but before the building shrine, the gate exists between nature and human. As, a, as, a, as a, I like that, that idea very much. As a, in the Budansom project, a, we have this hall, mm -hmm. and, uh, and Hiroshige Museum also 
Yeah, this 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 hole. Yeah. And the Hiroshige is a we as a we had a hole. We designed the hole. Yeah. And uh, always so create connection to nature. Yeah. As, mm. Yeah, I think that's taking you back to when you were in that pool and you saw the light coming down. Yes. That's my theory. Um, <laughs> tell us about your experience of Dundee uh, at Kengo, because you first visited in, in 2011 when your design was chosen. Can you tell us your, your thoughts on the city then uh, uh, and how you've seen it change over the last five years? Yeah, there's, there's a big, big change happened after the five years. As a, my, my first visit to as a Scotland as a, um, was as a 1980s, as a 1980s. So on that, that, on that as a visit, as a, I visited the Charles Lenny Macintosh buildings, as a, and uh, as a, and uh, I played golf. Of course. <laughs> Yeah, That's the law. As a, as a, as a Saint Andrews is a very, very uh, impressive. As a, yeah. As a, uh, I didn't remember the score. The score was very, very bad. But the first visit to Dundee is uh, that 2011. Yeah. Uh, this is a, a that's St Andrews, yeah. yeah. St Andrews is, a, and as, as and, and that day as and as a I, I felt as a beauty of water. As a, and as a, on that day, as a still some building existed on the waterfront, mm -hmm. but the water itself is, a, is beautiful, and the very simple lines of bridge and the combination of the waters and the hill on the other side is very impressive. So I. I I think the, this as the, a the first of days as the should be connected with the town. If yeah. as the two things connected, as a, it, it's, it can change the city totally, yes. as I felt. Yes. Mm -hmm. And have, have you been impressed then by the changes that you have seen in the five years? It's been yes. quite dramatic. Yes, quite dr dramatic. As a, and as a, girl, as a green as a, as a field between yes. the, as a built museum and the city, yeah. It's simple and beautiful. And you've mentioned Charles Rennie Macintosh. When did you first discover Macintosh's work? Ah, uh, the Macintosh was work as a, as a, as a, he was one of my heroes in the student time. Because uh, I like, as, liked his furniture. It's very, very simple. And the lines, I, I, I like the beauty of lines. Mm. The, and as a, as a very different, from the, as the attitude of the Corbusier, as yeah. a, the Corbusier designed furniture, Miss Van der Rohe designed furniture, but I prefer the Macintosh furniture. Yeah. Who, so of course, was very influenced yeah. by Japan. Yeah, the yeah. lines is a, is a beauty, beautiful. <coughs> yes. Uh, you mentioned the, the chair, uh, the furniture there, and then just seeing the, again, um, these sweeping, sweeping lines, very mm -hmm. geometric, and just light, it's all about the light, isn't it? Mm, yes. Um, absolutely uh, beautiful. Let's uh, go on and let me just, before we come back to talk a bit more detail about uh, the V&A Dundee, I think this is extraordinary <laughs> in so many ways. It sums up a lot of what we've uh, talked about here. Um, this, uh, tell us what this is and it, this is built on what had been a tea plant. Uh, yes, a tea plant. Tea, tea plantation, plantation, yeah, on, on the hill and on you the built hill. this into uh, the hillside. Uh, this is the is this the museum of the China Academy of Art? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, we've got some amazing images uh, of this. Um, tell us a little bit about the challenges here, because with the V&A Dundee, um, it's all kind of under wraps at the moment as it's constructed. But we're talking mm -hmm. about extraordinary angles. Mm -hmm. But here, um, this this must have been incredibly challenging for you and the team, because you're building into the hillside. Yes, as you said, as a as a, again same as. The Great Wall, the Great Bamboo Wall project. Yeah. A, so we didn't cut the land. So if we cut the the hill, as a as a, bit, as a green will go. And the, it's a problem we thought. And uh, and here, the 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 floors of the building is precisely the following the landscape. Yeah. And uh, it is a sloping floor. <laughs> 
it, it looks uh, more yeah, like it looks a, like a village rather than a museum. Yeah, and the, <laughs> and the and also the uh, the the the, the Louvre the, yeah. is a smaller Louvre. This is this is not village. This is my version. <laughs> That looks like a village. <laughs> it does look like a village. And uh, the, 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 we divide the, the big volume into the small the unit. Yeah. And the small, the, and, and geometrically, the smaller unit can follow the, the landscape. Yeah. It is a pixelized, it's a kind of pixelization. Yeah. The small the, the units can follow the, the It's shape. just, it's extraordinary, the, the, the geometry of it. But then also, uh, very much, it goes without saying, we've just seen those pictures, you're absolutely embracing the natural environment, mm. but also in terms of ecology here, this, so this is a, a this is a, how would you describe this? Yes, as a, <laughs> as a, as a ceramic roof tile, as yeah. a local roof tile. So these a, are old tiles from, yeah. From as a, as a, as a, as a some is, is a new, and some is old. Right. A, and the new one is also very good, a, because as a, in China, as a, as a, that, that they didn't produce, they don't produce this kind of as of tiles in the factory. So in, in the, they, as of, they had a, a, a kind of as a kiln, as mm -hmm. a kiln, 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 yeah. kiln, in the field. Yes. And uh, it is a beautiful, it's a small, small, is a, in small, small is a, a house. Yeah. A, and they are by, they're producing this item by hand. <laughs> And then the e the each pieces has a different size and different color. Mm -hmm. It's very different from industrial products. Industrial products, same size, precisely yes. same color yeah. as they fit in. Yeah. In Japan, is a, is a, we, can, we, could, we cannot get this type of diversity anymore. Mm. But in China, still, is a, is a, we can get it is a easily yes. and, and also very cheap. And, uh, and then the, I, the, uh, I decide uh, to use this one, this uh, material for the facade as well. Yeah. And there's a st uh, there's stainless mesh as a and as a as a disc as a unit uh, as a fixed together. Yeah. As and a, then again, we can see uh, we're going to see that in the stadium too. Lots of wood. Uh, yes. And this is something that's really important, isn't it? That um, because there was a real fear of using wood before, because uh, mm. much of Tokyo had burned before, hadn't it? But now with new technology. You're really interested in in, in new f forms of wood, where they're really fire resistant. Yeah, so there, yes, there yes. isn't a problem now with yes. wood. As a as a as a after as a as a last earthquake, the 1923. Yes. As a as a as a as a, as a, as a, as a Japan as a Japanese government, the, the tried to the, as a kick out wood from the city. Yeah. A, and, all, and also the, the Institute of Japanese Architects has a, has a decided the wood is not mm -hmm. appropriate material for the city. Yeah. It is very sad. The 1923 is under almost as a 80 years as a as a as a, as a, as a the position of wood was very very bad. Yes. But recently, that's as a uh, 10 15 years. As, a, as a we have the new technology mm -hmm. a, to treat wood, as a change it to inflammable material, yeah. and also as a as a, as a treatment as a, as a make the life of wood longer than before. And, and I, I guess one of the most radical examples is is this. So this is um, uh, the the. We talked about the Tokyo Olympics before, but the upcoming yeah. uh, Tokyo Olympics yes. uh, and Kengo Kuma, uh, you have designed this stadium. There was a bit of controversy around this, wasn't there? Because originally Zaha Hadid, yes. the late Zaha Hadid, um, had uh, won the competition mm -hmm. uh, to do this. I believe you, you, you didn't enter the competition initially, nor, nor were you asked to enter the initial competition. As a, as a, I, saw, as a, I, I, I checked the belief of competition, <laughs> and uh, and uh, and then as a, as a belief is a, as a probably as a, as a looks very difficult for us. That then a, we didn't participate in the first competition. Yeah. And uh, and as a, I as a, actually as a, my office is very close from the, the site. I know this the park very well. Yes. 
and, uh, and I felt the, the, the house building is too big for the forest. And, uh, and, the, and because of the, as a budget, as a, uh, therefore, as the idea was cancelled, and, yeah. uh, and uh, the second competition happened. And, uh, and uh, the, I, I was um, the, uh, was asked by yes. the, uh, the uh, one construction company to make up the team. Yeah. And uh, I try as a and and I saw the new belief. The new belief is uh, the saying uh, the the wood it can be the one. Uh, yeah. p possible material for yeah. the building, and I, when I saw that brief, uh, I decided to participate in the project. Yeah, because I think I've never seen anything like this—a stadium where you're absolutely embracing the natural environment, and the natural environment is will be part of this. Um, uh, this is so. There's a, an image of inside the state. The pagodas does that relate to it in yes, terms of uh, inspiration? Yes, uh, as a, those as the images show the, the section of the building, the hint yeah. of the section of the building. The, and the, because as a, as a, in, on the interviews of the competition, yeah. as a, I received many as a, as a question. Yeah. How, how is the life of wood, how is the maintenance, maintenance cost? Yes, it. yes, how is that possible? And, uh, I, as I, <laughs> I use this slide, <laughs> Uh, this, this is the oldest wooden building in the world. It's, a, it's built seventh century. Right. And more than <laughs> 1,400 years. And I, I use this slide. So it is possible. <laughs> <laughs> 1,400 <laughs> years. Well, that's amazing. So here are other images, yes. And it's much, um, I think the original Zaha Hadid design had been really quite monumental, but this is, the scale of this is is, is smaller. As a, and a, as a, as a, when I started the design of this, as a, I tried to as a, drop the height of the building as possible. The Zaha's building is as a, as a tallest part is a, uh, 75 meters. As a, and as a, uh, before as a competition started, as a, as a exist over as a state national stadium. Yeah. As a height is as a as a top, top part is a 60 meters. And uh, as, a, as a goal as a, of mine is to drop as a less than 50 meters. And finally, the, the highest is a 49 meters. And uh, when I as, as, uh, succeeded to drop that as a 49 meters, wow, I, I think it's a, it's a, we, had a, we have, can have the big chance to win because as a, Always, the, in 20th century, the higher, mm -hmm. the bigger yep. has some mean, had some meaning. Mm -hmm. But uh, I believe now the, we are belonging to the, the totally opposite the, the atmosphere. The, the lower is better, uh, the, uh, the subtleness is better, the, the dense, the 49 meters building with a series of, series of roof like that. Yeah. So, that that's the, the eaves, the series of eaves are protecting wood. Yes. And uh, it is very good for uh, the maintenance. And that brings me to, let's just go to the, um, there's the V&A in London and we've got our cliffs there. And let's just have a look at the, these images, which I'm sure most people here are, are quite yeah. uh, familiar with. But again, you know, it's, it's uh, the whole relationship with the sea and bringing the, the city and the sea closer together uh, and the tea. But also, it's this idea, a bit like that stadium, which we expect to be monumental and maybe a bit alienating. You're inviting people in mm -hmm. uh, to the space. So here, yeah, so tell us about this. Again, as a hole, as a, as a, a, hole. a hole, the yeah. tree is a, as a gate, as an effect, is attracting people to, attracting people to, the, to see, to river, and before river, there is a building. Yes. But attracting people <laughs> to nature is very important. Ah, so, so, and the walkway so along the river yes. is, is, will, be, will give a beautiful experience. It's, it's a, one side is a building, one side river is yes. walking li like that. Probably very exciting. It's so exciting because it's all happening there under wraps. We can't quite see it, but it's great to get these, these images uh, of the scale of it. 
And of course, it's always blue skies <laughs> in, in these architectural images. And they're inside again, so uh, wood, That's oak. lots of wood, o oak, oak. oak. In, in this case, it's a, we check so many so type of woods, and the oak is the most beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. And there in the evening, I think. I am just going to um, open up to some questions, but first of all, I've got a couple which have come in on Twitter, Kengo, mm -hmm. uh, or by email, actually. Um, this is from somebody called, uh, this is from Chiara Di Ponio, who says, uh, um, my question is, the Dundee Waterfront refurbishment project has so far shown a commitment to environmental sustainability. Was sustainability an issue that you took into account when designing it? And how have you worked towards providing us with a V&A that is green and sustainable? So we've mm. discussed that a little bit, but with this one, the idea of sustainability. The sustainability is as, a, as we try to use the local material as possible as can. And, uh, and also the, this, is a sh this shape, uh, the, this is a shape is the same as the, is a, the section of the the eaves of Japanese temple, yes. the protect natural light, the protect the light from the building, and, uh, and also the create a beautiful sh shadow the mm. under the building. The, the shadows, uh, I think shadow is a connector between the building and human. And the, uh -huh. uh, the, and always the, we are designing shadow, light and shadow, at uh, the same time. <laughs> Not only shadow. If we design shadow, there is a light, yes. light and shadow, light and shadow. Yeah, love the idea of light and shadow. And just another question uh, that's come in: um, I am writing my dissertation on this building. Uh, it says Kitty Byrne, and uh, and it would be great if you could answer this question. Uh, my question is: Having worked all over the world in many different contexts, would you say your buildings retain something Japanese about them? And does the V and A Dundee have Japanese qualities? Mm, so I think the Japanese ness is a, is not the, so narrow. So the, the, as always, the, the we are making the catch ball between the two mm. cultures. The, in case of Bruno Taut, so he came to Japan, he was inspired by Katsura Villa, and he, he, he designed that kind of things. So yes. the, and Frank Lloyd Light also, so he came to Japan, and he learned many things from Japanese building. So, and so that kind of catchy ball is, is, a, so is, is the mother of creation, as always. And the Japanese is not so narrow. It just can be thrown to other places, so then stimulate that cultures. Macintosh is, is like yeah. the same as that, like that, and, the, and the, this building, the, probably some Japanese the, the characters exist. For example, the, the shadows the, the, and, and the, be, between the plank and the wall, mm -hmm. and uh, the, the, again, the, the wood, as a, it's just a, we, as a, cut the wood like that, like that size to create the small human scale. Yes. The human scale is very important for Japanese building. Yes, yes. The, and that, that the kind of, of ideas came from Japan, Japanese Japan. But, the, but it, it, the, it, it, it is not the only for Japanese building, I think. The, that is a wisdom that can be used everywhere yes. by everybody. It's, it's open to everybody. Yes. Yeah. Great question, great answer. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you.